on defense, uh, I think that uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting matchups. The, the, the biggest ones are obviously the matchups with uh, Christian McCaffrey and uh, Jonathan Stewart. Uh, McCaffrey and Stewart each lead uh, the team in yards from scrimmage. Uh, McCaffrey leads the team in targets, receptions, receiving yards. So um, it's going to be uh, really interesting to see how they match up with those two running backs. Yeah, you've done a pretty extensive study on Christian McCaffrey, right? Have you watched every every touch he's had this season? Uh, I've watched uh, at least a couple of games. I, I missed maybe a few in the, the 49ers game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's okay. been playing uh, around 70% uh, of the snaps um, for the Panthers, whereas um, uh, Jonathan Stewart's playing, uh, I think, around 40% of the snaps. Uh, when McCaffrey's in the game, uh, the, the Panthers tend to pass the ball. They'll pass the ball around 68% of the time. When Stewart's in the game, uh, without McCaffrey, they run the ball 76 percent uh, of the time. So okay. it's kind of a it's a, a split where if McCaffrey's in the game, you, you don't necessarily know they're going to uh, pass the ball, but you have an idea. And when Stewart's in the game, you have a, a very good idea that they're going to run the ball. Yeah, so it's almost like a blunt uh, James White type of setup for them. Uh, McCaffrey's going to be huge for the Panthers in this game. They might be without Kelvin Benjamin. It seems they probably will be without him. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so you, you really have an offense that for the past couple of years they've had two big outside receivers in Benjamin and, and Funchess. They drafted McCaffrey, who you're playing at running back. I don't know, you've watched him. Has he lined up at wide receiver at all? Has he done some of that as well? Yeah, he's yes. been lining okay. up in the slot. He's been lining up as uh, just a split-out wide receiver. Um, there's one play they had uh, last game where uh, McCaffrey ended up lining up in the slot, and then they uh, had one receiver run deep with him. He ran an out route, and most of his passes are uh, of the short variety. You know, there'll be dinks and dunks in the flats. And so when he went to the out, the cornerback tried to jump the route. But McCaffrey's not just a, a, a one-trick pony when it comes to uh, those passing routes. He ended up going deep, getting a, a big gain out of it, uh, ended up setting up, uh, I believe, a touchdown. So uh, he can he can do everything as a receiver. He's a little bit like facing uh, Alvin Kamara in that aspect, but right. maybe uh, maybe a little better. You know, yeah, uh, he's, I would say he, he's even better than that. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, he's, he's quick. Um, he does that thing that Julian Edelman does where every time he gets tackled, he somehow gets another two or three <laughs> yards while diving. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's, um, there's, there's a lot to like about his game, and there's a reason why the Panthers spent uh, a pretty high draft pick on him. Yeah, so they, they go out and they draft McCaffrey and Curtis Samuel, who didn't really play that much the first two weeks. I think you said he played 36 snaps. This past week, he's going to be needed a lot more if Kelvin Benjamin's out. So the, the Panthers have kind of transitioned what their personnel is on offense. They used to be a team that's really going to throw the ball downfield. Cam's going to hold the ball for a long time. I think what they want to do with guys like McCaffrey and Samuel or get the ball out of Cam's hands pretty quickly. Clearly, based on the results the Panthers have had, that's a work in progress right now because Carolina hasn't thrown for more than 180 yards in the game this season, which by today's standards in the NFL is fairly dismal. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if playing the Patriots are, will be the cure to that, but this is a team in Carolina that is still trying to find its identity on offense. And the, what you touched on with McCaffrey is going to be the key matchup for the Patriots. It's a matter of how you match him. If they're playing him in the backfield, are you going to use a linebacker to cover him? If he is lined up out wide, do you use Pat Chung to cover like they did uh, using Chung on Alvin Kamara in the Saints game? That's a big.